In 1933, the premiere of Maclean Grasa, the final major work by Ukrainian playwright Mykola Kulish, took place at the Beretzil Theatre in Kharkiv. But Kulish's previous work had not endeared him to the Soviet authorities in Ukraine, and as a result, there was a heavy and unwelcome police presence at the dress rehearsal. The events are narrated in the memoir of actor Josep Herniak. Ahead of the premiere of Maclena Grasa, I returned home to get some rest after a 16-hour rehearsal. After only a couple of hours sleep, I was awakened and given a letter from the authorities, ordering us to present our play that same day before the Politburo of Soviet Ukraine. Kulish's work had been previously criticized for venerating Ukrainian national identity, which the Politburo viewed as a threat to the unity of the Eastern Bloc. With the premonition of impending calamity, I returned to the theatre immediately. At the stage door, a guard demanded my identification. The theatre was full of agents from the Cheka, the Soviet secret police. There was even an agent sat in my dressing room. As soon as I entered, he began searching my pockets without uttering a word. The agent did not take his eyes off me. I was to prepare for my role at gunpoint. The text and content of the play fled from my mind. Before my eyes, I could only see the silhouette of the Czechist agent. It was time to begin the show, and when I walked towards the stage, my agent was following me like a shadow. As I was to begin my first monologue, I looked down to see the entire staff of the Ukrainian Politburo and a sea of blue hats worn by Czechist agents. My chest was gripped as though in a vice. My throat was parched. I mechanically began my monologue. My fellow actors joined me on stage, and I felt that all of us were walking like shadows, with nothing in common with the play, with the scenes, or with the action. This was not the theater, but some sort of inferno, and we, the actors, wandered through it as though walking on burning coals. Following the gunpoint rehearsal, the play was performed just five times before it was banned by the Soviet authorities. One year later, Kulish was arrested and sent to a forced labor camp. He was denounced as a bourgeois nationalist playwright, and in 1937, he was shot as part of a celebration marking the 20th anniversary of the Great October Revolution.